Hi and welcome to another episode of Ruko School. Today I'm going to have a look inside this lock set. This is a very popular lock set in Denmark because we don't just want to keep the burglars out, we also want to keep the cold wind out, especially in the winter. So to achieve that, uh, this lock set here uh, is not just throwing uh, the latch and the bolt, it's actually having a small item out here that goes in this cutout here and that is operating some hooks in the top and the bottom of the door to uh, make sure that the weather strips are compressed and keeping the cold air out. So, there are some details that need to be done to get this to, um, to do these things and there are some checks that need to make sure that something is moved before so other things are moved. So. Uh, Ruko and Asa had to come up with some clever ideas to uh, to make that work. So uh, let's have a look inside. First of all, the first section, the one that I left in here, are actually the parts that we saw in the previous video, like to pull the latch and to throw the bolt here. So they are exactly the same. So go check the video on the Five six five. If uh, you want to know how these things are put in, so to operate the other locking parts at the top and the bottom of the door, this one goes in, and when it's in the bottom, uh, the parts are extended, and when they are moving up here, they are free to move. So first of all, we need to make sure that. Once the bolt is extended, that the door handle cannot push down, because pushing the door handle down actually retracts the top and bottom part. So we need to make sure that the door handle can only move up and back to horizontal when, these, when the bolt is out. And in the same way, when you want to throw the bolt, it needs to make sure that these two top and bottom ones are fully extended first. So to do that, they put in, let me see if I can find it, this little clever device here. So that thing is actually sitting here. And as you can see, it engages with this part here. So right now it can move. And now this one is locked. And if this one is up, this one can pass. So, how do we get this to get to some spring tension? Well, it has this tiny spring here, and it has this little hook that just goes around here and behind that post. So, just it's a bit fiddly, but uh, yeah, spring tension, spring went away, so not important. So. Let me put this part in. So as you can see, now it can't move, and now it's pushed up. So that's how that's controlled. And again, this little spring just goes from under here, curl around, and hook in the corner here. So that's quite simple. Next, we have this typical uh, hub, and uh, Uh, this part, the mainspring that keeps the hub uh, under tension, is different from uh, from the other one. And as you can see here, it's not as high as the other one. But that's because actually this section here is compensating for for that. So this one uh, takes up the exact same space so that everything else can be remain the same. And to get this under tension, it actually rests over here against the inside of the case and is forced around uh, with a quite strong spring to hook onto the side of this one. So I'm not going to engage this because it's not in jig because I want to show how things move. So. And this clever thing, well, I'll just put this in as a spacer for now. I think it can rest like that more or less. So, without being under tension, you just need to 
get the distance right. And then we can put this one on top. And as we can see, this one, when this is down, it's actually preventing the door handle from being pushed down. But as we can see, this one also touches this thing. So um, we can't use this to get it back up again. So therefore it has this part here. And that actually hooks in like this to get it back in frame. And between these two sections are this rather mangled spring, but um, that actually makes sure that when you pull these apart, they are spring loaded and will go back again. So if we put both of these down. on the right side then this as we can see this one can push down on this and this one can push up on that one so up and down action are done by these two last thing that is different from the 565 is actually this spring here because if we have a look at um, the latch this spring goes from the top of it here around here and is just hooking inside the lock set and rest over here so that gives the spring action so to get this fully together we need to set up a jig for it i haven't done that yet i just needed to make this video because i know someone is in trouble right now for taking his lock apart and uh, this is just to help a bit so now we have seen how all the things go together and it's just a matter of doing everything and using five hands to hold everything in at the same time. So um, yeah, remember, don't take these apart. There's nothing worth servicing inside. If it's broken, replace it, don't repair. And if you're in doubt about it, throw it out. So. As you know, there are too many parts to hold in. All for this one. Um, hope this is helpful to someone. If so, give it a big like, comment and subscribe. I'm nearly at 400 subscribers right now. Quite a milestone for me. So um, yeah, hope to make it to even more subscribers. Uh, there'll be more videos coming in the next day. So uh, stay tuned for that and uh, bye for now.